be playing more or less the team that um, probably would we would play in the finals because they were doing particularly well. They were the best team in the world. Um, uh, you know, they had two of the fastest bowlers in the world, and um, they were the form team. And we're coming up against them at the Oval. And um, but there again, we, you know, Cali Churan, It was his game. He played it, and, and Roberts. Uh, they they put us in the driving seat. Cali batted extremely well. He played some, ex, uh, you know, exquisite shots against uh, Lily and, and Thompson, and um, and saw us saw us home. Um, and again, our bowling attack was pretty good, and we we really dominated that that game. And we knew for sure that once there again, we this game winning uh, that game, we were in the final. We knew that once we played to our ability. Because we really had some top-class players um, who played county cricket, and and they did very well in county cricket. They knew the conditions, um, so you you would have a you, you had a lot of help. Um, we there were quite a lot of discussion because you know having played on on, on grounds of that nature, and um, they we our plan was to probably bowl. You know, as straight as possibly ca as we possibly can. Um, um, our fielding was always terrific. We had probably one of the best fielding sides in the world during that period. And once we, our, our, we had got, we had all our disciplines right. We knew we could come out on top, and we did. So that means that we worked to the, the plan we had, restricted them, uh, got wickets when we we needed them, and um, there again. It was a very professional job, and, and we came out on top. Well, it's, it's always pretty good to get them because they they were probably two of the best players in the world at the time. And um, they're no-nonsense players, and they play all around the, the, the pit, the wicket. You know, they weren't, they're not people that you can restrict. Their all-round game was quite good, and they scored quickly. Um, they're good runners between. Well, I wouldn't say they're quick between the wickets because um, they, they, you know, we knew for sure that sometimes their running would, could be uh, slightly abysmal at times, and um, and it has it happened in a couple of games before. So we knew that if we keep them tight, we had a chance of of um, of, um, of what somebody getting run out. And um, and it happened, you know, on more than one occasion. And because the point is that we knew about their style of play and so on. Um, some of them were not a very good judge of a run. And um, but you, you know, people say, well, how do you plan for things like that? But if you you know if you you keep a player tight and restricted, they're looking to score. And we had we had some guys with good arms. Cali Tran had a good arm. Viv Richards, I, uh, you know, I wasn't, I was no slouch either. I met Gordon Greenwich, um, with Roy Fedrix. We had some, some guys that were quicker, you know, within that 30-yard circle. In, in, in every game they they played, they had a run out or two, and it was always detrimental to them, because either when when they're doing quite well, and it, it's always throwing them back, and um, we knew for sure that. Uh, if we can just, you know, keep them tight enough that some, some, somebody might crack and, and do something silly and um, and put us back into the driving seat. And, and when Doug Walters was run out, yes, um, it, does, it did give us a chance to, to make some inroads into the, to the, the lower order batters. Well, Roy and Cali Turan, they did extremely well against Lillian Thompson, because Roy was one of these compulsive hookers, and he had very good eyes, uh, very good wrists. Cali Chirin was the same type of player, and they were from the same area in Barbies and Guyana. They're good table tennis players, so they had good wrists, and they were sort of, they, they really went to town and, and the, the two fastest bowlers in the world. I would think the pole, pole shots and, you know, flicking off their, their hips and so on. 
and um, and having a go at the, the short ball. You know, Roy was one of those who would take on the the, the fast balls, and Cali Turan did the same the same thing. So it was it was a, a, it was an exciting bit of batting um, during that period. You know, he would have been, you know, the fastest we had at the time. Um, and he, he was a very, very good professional. Played for Hampshire, did extremely well, knew the conditions. And um, so, really and truly, that um, Andy was, I would think he was in the, in the same area of... Um, of great, uh, of, 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 you know, of greatness. He was just as quick as they were, and um, and he he was a he had a terrific cricket in brain, and um, and I suppose is to tell you why that's why we did so well when we played against Pakistan because he was a great thinker, and when he was bowling, he just he didn't just run up and bowl fast. He 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 put a lot of thought into to whatever he did. And um, we were we were lucky to have someone someone like him around to match the Lillian Thompson. I would like to see them again sometime because it it they, they you know they're probably games that you can you can you know sort of get that you you still feel that tense moment although. It, you, you 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 lived it, and um, to me, the two best teams probably got to the final um, because Australia, because the favourites, they're the best team in the world, and the West Indies, I presume, because we 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 had better all rounders, younger players, uh, hungrier players, but playing in England, we. They, we knew, we probably thought that England would have been a very difficult team to beat, and they proved that against Australia. Um, but there again, I thought that um, the teams that, that the two teams probably were the best at it, and during that tournament got to the final. Well, the game we played against New Zealand too it was. You know, had its ups and downs. They were 90 out for one, 92 for one at lunch, and lost um, nine wickets, for 50 out runs, I think, after lunch. We, Andy Roberts and the other bowlers sort of came into their own and, 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 and um, really got rid of them rather quickly. They, they sort of, it was sort of um, a demolition job of, by, done by the, our bowlers. And um, we didn't. We had 157 or somewhere in that region to make, which we we did with with nonchalant ease. Um, and you know, but New Zealand to me probably was was a, you know they were at that period they were they were a very good side, um, and they always had good all rounders. New Zealand, New Zealand, and um, I probably thought that. They would have done a little better in the competition, but it wasn't to be. But they too, you know, were a handful. <laughs>